Over the past few days, I've had a couple people ask me about this Modern Warfare style text effect that showed up in a couple of my recent videos. Now just looking at it, it's not that hard of an effect to do. As you can see, it decodes in, and if I play it a little bit more, it decodes out character by character just like it does in the Call of Duty series. Now this isn't really a hard thing to do, but I haven't actually seen a tutorial on it. So it's up to me to make a tutorial on how to do this. So we'll get started and all you'll need for this is After Effects. Now if you don't have After Effects, you can download a free 30 day trial from adobe.com. First things first, you want to make a new composition. Head over to Composition, New Comp. You can name your composition whatever you want. Modern Warfare Intro Text. Set your resolution to your preference, your frame rate to your preference, and keep the duration about 10 seconds. The whole animation is not going to last that long, it's going to be about 5 to 6 seconds. So 10 seconds is a good time frame. Hit OK, and After Effects will create your new composition. So step 1 is to create a black solid. Head over to Layer, New, Solid. Now what this does is allow us to blend it into any footage that we want by using the screen blending options. And I'll talk about that a little bit later. So if this color is anything but black, you need to change it to black and hit OK. You'll get your black solid. Step 2, we need to start making our text. Head over to Layer, New, Text. Now what you're going to do is type in whatever you want the first line of text to be. And once you've done that, come over here and click on the selection tool and reposition it as needed. That looks good there. Now what we're going to do is come over here to the effects and presets box. Now if you don't have this, you can get it to show up by going to window, effects and presets. So what you're going to do is type in glow. And then you should see one that says stylize and glow. And if this box is up, all you have to do is click on the little arrow and it should pop up. So what you're going to do is type in glow, it should be there, stylize glow, drag that onto the text layer and you'll notice that the text layer glows up in this white color. So you'll see all these settings on the side and don't get too intimidated by it if you're new to After Effects. All you have to do is change a couple things here and I'm going to go through it right now. The glow based on is going to be changed to alpha channel instead of color channel. We're going to go to alpha channel and then come over here to where it says color A and color B. For color A, you just want to select a kind of greenish color, whatever color you want the text to be glowing. Of course, here it's room for you to customize this on your own. So that looks good about there. And then for color B, all you have to do is click on this little eyedropper tool and then select that green color right there. And color B will be the exact same color. So now that you have both of them the exact same color, you can see that the text has that kind of greenish uh, glow to it. So what you want to do now is play around with the intensity a little bit and the glow radius a little bit. So you can adjust it to your preference. And once you've messed around with it, that looks good about there. All you have to do is go back to your project settings and that's it. So that's the first line of text. Now what we want to do is duplicate this layers and you can do that by coming down here, clicking on your text layer and hitting control D on your keyboard. This will duplicate the layer. Then you want to take your selection tool, drag it down. Whoops, I hit the wrong layer, so don't do that. Take the selection tool, drag it down, and reposition it as needed. And then click on the text tool up here, or you can do Control T. And then all you want to do is type in your second line of text. Go back to the selection tool and reposition as needed. So for these next couple steps, it's pretty much that until you have all of the text that you actually want on the screen. So I'm just going to kind of run through it real quick. Duplicate, reposition, change text. Reposition that one more time. Duplicate, reposition, text. All right, so there we go. We have our text that's looking pretty good. It's not perfect, but it looks pretty good. Maybe if I adjust this one up a little bit more. Yeah, that looks about right there. Now, this will help with the process. What you wanna do is select the Modern Warfare text layer, bringing it up to the top, 
and just kind of reorder them so they're in the order that they show up on the screen. So now we have the Modern Warfare layer, my name, Team Explosion TV, and then my YouTube channel. So now that we have the texture, if I scrub through the timeline, you can see that it doesn't really do anything, and it's just sitting there the whole time. So now for the decode in effect. What we're going to do is come over here to effects and presets and type in decode. You should see one under animation presets, under text and animate in. Drag that onto the first layer of text. Now you'll notice it disappears. As I scrub through the timeline, you can see that it slowly, slowly decodes in. But that's a little bit slow and it finishes off at about 4 seconds. And in the example that I showed you at the start of the video, the whole process is about finished in about 4 seconds. If we take a look at it again. So it's pretty much on and off in about 5 to 6 seconds there. 4 seconds for the whole animation to come in. So you want to kind of replicate that. So what you're going to do is bring down the options for the text layer by hitting that triangle. Come over here to text and then go to animator 1. You should see a little bunch of settings right here. You're going to go to range selector 1. And then on the timeline, you should see the two keyframes, one at the start and then one where it ends. So all you have to do is take this one, the one where it ends, and drag it into about right there. Of course, you can adjust this to whatever speed you'd like. And if I hit play, it shows up pretty fast. So that's pretty much uh, where we want it to be. Maybe adjust a little bit more. And that's looking good right there. So now what we want to do is bring this back up and then click on animator one now once you have animator one selected head over to edit copy now what I want you to do is be very very careful of how you're positioning these things because it's gonna depend on where your time indicator is on your timeline so if I go back to zero seconds as I scrub through it finishes off at about a half a second so let's say we want the second line of text to start up as soon as this one is finished. So I can go ahead a little bit more and then select the second line of text, which is my name, and hit Control V. Now what that does is it places the animator settings that we've made from the first text onto the second text layer. So if I go back and hit play, the first line and then the second line. So you're going to want to continue this process until you have all of the lines revealed. Here we have the second line, go up a little bit. And then we're going to apply it to the third line, control V, and then wait till it's over and give it about another half second after that. And then the fourth line. So if I scrub through and I play it now, all right, now it's looking good. And obviously you can adjust the speed as you like, and it's fairly simple from there. Okay, so now what we're going to do is do the animate out animation that happens a couple seconds after the whole thing is finished. So we're going to go through to about three or four seconds, wherever you'd like it to be. Then come over to effects and presets and type in fade out. Now you should see a couple ones here. It'll say encoder fade out, fade out character, fade out slow. We're going to use fade out character for this. Drag it onto your main text. As you can see, it fades out character by character, but this isn't what we want. We want it to be random. So we can actually adjust that by going into the effect settings. So come down to animator two, hit range selector, then go to advanced. Now all the way at the bottom, you should see one that says random order. Hit that to toggle it on. And now if we scrub through, it's in a random order. So now we just have to adjust the speed come over to the range selector and go to the keyframes here. Here is the start and then this one will be the end. So we drag that in just a little bit and that looks about good. So one thing you want to make note of is we want all of the text to fade out at the same time. So we're going to do what we did before but instead of moving the time indicator on the timeline we're just going to leave it right at the start right here. So this is where those keyframes start. Come over, select animator 2, edit, copy, then apply it to all the layers. Control V, Control V, Control V. So now as I scrub through, you can see they all disappear at the same time. So if I go back to the start and hit play, and 
and we give it a couple seconds and then it fades out. So that is pretty much the base of the effect. Obviously you can experiment around with it. And another thing you can do to actually uh, use this easier in your projects, you can actually select all of these layers, head over to layer and then go to pre-compose. And then what that, what I was going to do is it's going to combine all of these for you. Open composition, make sure that's checked. Monomorphic text source. Okay. Now you'll have a new composition with all of your layers. If you go to this one, it's one layer. Now you can easily make changes. For example, if I wanted to change the name of the top text right here, I can go to the second layer and change it to anything I wanted. So text effect tutorial and then reposition it as needed. And we're done. If I go back to the other layer, there we go. So that just makes it really simple to make changes to this if you want to change anything. Now if you've had any problems with this, I'm going to include the After Effects project file in the download in the description down below. And also included is the sounds for the fade in and the fade out, which you can see in the video example right here. So that kind of uh, really techy typing sound and then the fade out sound at the end. Both of those are going to be included, so down below in the description you can check it out. So that's a pretty simple effect. So that is it guys, um, thank you for watching. If you have any questions just leave them down in the comments. And until next time, I'm Vinny and I'll catch you later.